Hey guys, it's Victoria, and welcome back to another episode of To The Moon. We left off here, and I guess that's the thing. The mo- mo- I almost said momentum. The momento. Moment? Is that what it was? No, the, the travel doohickey. Yeah, I have a feeling, I have a sneaking suspicion that this will be one of the last ones. Not one of the last, I think it will be another episode after this. Some kind of carnival. Huh. Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Aw, you ruined it. Where am I going? This one, I guess, gives me a little bit more exploration this time. Fruits. Fresh fruits. Apples, oranges, and tomatoes. We got it all. Wait a minute. Tomatoes aren't fruits. Er, yeah, they are. They're the ov- ovaries of the plant and contain seed. That's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes. We never ever refer to them as fruits. We, who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take it very seriously. Same though. Did this guy says the same thing. Fruits. Oh god, okay. I don't want to go there yet. I want to explore. I guess I'll go there. No, I won't. I want to explore. Um, where to go? Okay, can I... Can I talk to you? No? No? Okay. I guess I'll go up here. I guess it's making me... Alright, listen. But I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey won it fair and square, didn't he? But I won too, he just went first. <laughs> it's okay, I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny. That's rude. Okay, you dumplings, don't block the stand now. Come, let's go see what's over there. Not a dumpling. You know what? I'm going to call you dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. Hey, is that whack a mole? Whack a what? Whack a mole. You take a mallet and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. That's how people blew off steam before FPS were invented. How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes. Oh god, no. Uh... Okay, warning. I'm going to be really, really, really bad at that. I'll use mouse. I don't care. My mouse is so slow. Let me just... You're going to have to hear ignored, obnoxious clicking. Excuse me. I missed all of those. Oh, time's up. Let's see now. Out of 45 total target appearances, you struck 46 times and made 23 successful hits. That's a 51% hit rate. It's your new record. That was horrible. Hmm. I guess I'll go here. Ah, yes. Fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer and this one a doctor. Oh my. Come on, I'm, I'm getting both of you treats. Hey, where's my tip? 
you know, get my fortune read. No way. I ain't talking to her. Good or bad. I'd be screwed either way. So I want to talk. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. I want to. Fine. Where do we go now? Where am I? Where, why am I? Oh. Welcome and behold the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know. Don't care. Hmm. I to, where am I gonna go? I know there was a passage over here. Is it? Nothing down there, okay. I'll go this way then. How do I keep getting stuck on little flowers? Jesus Christ. Really? Oh, they're connected. Mm -mm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. No, I don't even want to taste regular olives. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Nyah. I'm done, though. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave that bag, I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine. I want it. Pickled olives. So he, I, 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 I just want to, can I just, can I just, I want to go follow him. Oh wait, can I do something up here? You've got sparkles on, why can't I do things at you? Let me go this way. Really? That's all I needed to do was... Nothing I can even do. Okay. That's okay. I'm just going around in circles. Where are you going? Like how he's waiting for us, kind of. Way to follow his mom's orders, huh? Where are we going? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh. Oh, this is a cliff. Oh. Wow. Same. I love this. Whoa. This game is really friggin' pretty. Like, this is, like, extremely pretty. I... I love this so much. Well, okay. So we wandered off the trail and found a cool place. 
Let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah. There was a hill outside of the city that we'd stay at. The same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did, mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. It's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. <laughs> Same. You're terrible. I know. It's a shame, though. I am literally Watts all the time. All these nice memories, lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I told you, Pax, tigers dwell here. I like how I can hear crickets. I hate crickets. Baby River. Hello. Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to haul this place all to myself. Um, you want to join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? That's adorable. That is like honestly so adorable. And it's so so pretty. Like that is gorgeous. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so adorable. Just look at them. Did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh. Uh, I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They said it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then? Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. What's wrong with that? Hmm? What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I actually want to stop this real quick because I just now kind of realized something is... They made River a really unique character, like, in the whole, like, game. And they also gave her a really unique name, which is kind of, like, I, not ironic. I don't know what the word is, what I'm looking for, but it's, like, it's kind of, like, sets it up. It's like, oh, I'm going to give this person a not-so-common name, and I'm going to make their character also not-so-common. You know? I, I don't know if that makes any sense or not. Maybe it's just me thinking that way. And... Sad, not sad, oh my god, I can't talk. And weirdly enough, I have hardly met anyone named John. I know like maybe three Johns. Maybe. I don't even, I don't know if I know that many. 
So that's kind of strange, knowing that in the game it's like, oh, it's so common, and it's like, mm, no, it's not. Maybe it is. I don't know. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Eh, I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad said they're giant burning spears of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, it's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. <laughs> kangaroos aren't real. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, of other things. Never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah. We'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see who makes one out first. Is it going to make me try? Because I sure can't. Okay. We'll start in three. Three two, one, and stop. I see it. Er, where? In the sky. But where in the sky? Think big. Eh, uh, bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it. Tell me what you see. There, right? There's two ears and a head. What else? And there, there's its two feet. Yes, what else? And, and the moon. The moon is its big round belly. I don't see, oh. I did not see that. So, what do you think they really are? The stars. I mean... I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses, stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there and they want to talk to them. But they can't because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. That's, oh my, that gave me, like, cold chills, oh my god. I am, like, almost shaking, like, that, this is really adorable, because, like, I know when I was a kid, I had weird thoughts like that, like, not, not with, like, lighthouses in the sky, but I've always, I always had weird things, like, thinking what was in the ocean, like, or what was in the sky, and being like, well, one day I'll be with one of them, or one day I'll, it's just weird. The bag, what's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from Whack-A-Mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a... thing. Don't really know what it is. <gasps> it's the platypus! That's adorable. It's some kind of weird duck beaver thing. May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! Ugh, 
That's my calling. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep. Will you? Yeah. Or yes. Yeah. Same place? Same time? Yes. What if you forget or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny! Coming! Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. That's, that's just so cute. When does he learn her name is a real question. It's just so cute because it's like... It's just so cute. That's adorable. I don't want to cry now. If they ever got get lost. Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was going to be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we are contracted to do. Damn it, Eva, wait! Eva? All right, I know you're in here. Receipt, note, moon. Notes. Lost from each other. I think I've got a couple clock ticking, yeah. Well, I feel bad to say this because I'm gonna end, uh, it's gonna be like, get out of here. It's kind of like a cliffhanger ending. And I've gotta end this episode here. This is a shorter episode because it's only like 23 minutes, something like that. But I have a feeling, if I remember right, that I've got one more episode I can make out of this. So I'd rather end it here and have a longer episode next time than have this episode be like 45 minutes or something. But I'll split it up. Whatever. Anyways, that, all I can say was that that was probably the most adorable thing. Like, it's just, it was so cute and all that stuff. And like, River kept the platypus all those years. And it's like, it's so cute. It's just so cute and adorable. And it's cute. Anyways, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to end this episode here. And I'll pick it back up and you'll see the next episode soon. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.